Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019 and we are doing this problem 86 from the part C of your paper. It's a problem from abstract algebra. So let us have a look. Let fx be the polynomial ring in one variable over a field f. Then which of the following uh, statements are true. Alright, so these are your statements. fx is unique factorization domain, fx is principal ideal domain and something like this. Alright, so firstly we need few results and let me write those results. After that we will solve this problem. Alright, so see we have four results for you. Let us read them line by line. fx is a PID principal ideal domain if and only if f is a field. fx is a Euclidean domain if and only if f is a field. If R is a unique factorization domain then Rx is a unique factorization domain. So we in the fourth one we have a basic relation that if we have a field then it is obviously Euclidean domain and if we have a Euclidean domain then it is obviously PID and if we have PID then it is obviously UFD and if you have UFD then it is obviously integral domain. So these are the relations between these. That means the collection of field is the smallest one. The collection of Euclidean domain is little bit big and this keeps on going increasing like this. So let us now proceed. What is given to you that let fx be the polynomial ring in one variable over the field f. Then which of the following statements is true. So we have this f as a field. So let us see these two definitions. If f is a field, then fx is a PID. If f is a field, then fx is a Euclidean domain. So according to this, 1 and 2, what we can say is this, that what we can say is this, that fx is a PID. We can say it from the theorem number 1. Alright, so it is correct. Why? Because f is a field f is a Euclidean domain we can do it from uh, theorem number 2 alright from theorem 2 this is true from theorem 1 this is true third one fourth one says fx is a PID but not an Euclidean domain now we already know that it is a Euclidean domain so that means fourth one is incorrect now let us talk about uh, talk about this first one because it is not directly from given from the results if we see this statement number fourth, then we are getting that if we have a field, then it is obviously a UFT. Are you getting my point? That means from this relation that field always implies Euclidean, Euclidean factorization, uh, uh, sorry, unique factorization domain. So given that F is a field, from the fourth one we can say F is a UFT. Now because it is a UFT from the third theorem we can say that fx is a UFT. Are you getting my point? So this problem is a very basic problem dependent upon these four basic theorems or you can say result or you can say fact. Alright. From the abstract algebra. So that is why four, 1, 2 and 3 are correct for this problem and fourth one is incorrect. If you have any doubt regarding this problem, you can always ask in the comment section. And if you have any other doubt, you can join our WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Links are given in the description part of the video. Alright, so thank you.